Now remember, boys, don't ever go near that little carnival now. You know, Elder Kettle, how long has that carnival been there anyways? I bet right, Elder Kettle. How long has that been there? Well, all I know is is that it came up sometime after the war. There was a war, Elder Kettle? Why, yes, boys. Well, Elder Kettle, does that mean you're as old as the island? Yeah, you're as old as the island. Wait, did our parents fight in that? Why don't you boys have fun at that carnival? What is up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Animated Cartoon Conspiracy Theory. The same place that has figured out what Spongebob's true parents are and the chronological order of the DreamWorks timeline. And if you haven't already, make sure you finger snap that subscribe button and parry slap that notification bell. Elder Kettle will be so proud. But today we'll be uncovering the lore that makes up the Inkwell Isle. And the truth may be revealed by Elder Kettle. So what if I told you that? Elder Kettle may have already told us where Cuphead and Mugman's parents are. The Netflix series The Cuphead Show is actually a reimagining of the events within the game Cuphead. But this series also happens to add to the lore of the game, giving backstory and depth to other characters like Chalice, King Dice, and the Devil. But let's just focus on Elder Kettle for a moment. Elder Kettle is probably one of the oldest characters within the series. He happens to be old enough to remember the carnival being built up and participate in a mysterious war that happened when he was younger. And Elder Kettle may be the only remaining persons from that battle. In the Cuphead show, you may notice that there's not a lot of cup type people. And both the game and the show tell us that Cuphead, Mugman, and Chalice were all orphans. So is it possible that all of their parents fought in this mysterious battle that happened long ago? And whoever the cup people were battling wiped out nearly if not all of the cup people that we know. And because of those events taking place, the orphanages became overpopulated and they began putting babies at people's doorsteps like Cuphead, Mugman, and Baby Bottle. An overflow of orphans isn't crazy because that would mean the devil and Cuphead actually brought order to Inkwell Island. Let me explain. In the Cuphead show, there is a character named the devil who was almost always after getting Cuphead's soul. But fun fact, he's never able to get Cuphead because of his nice brother Mugman. That just goes to show the power of brotherly love. But if we go back to the theoretical war that happened on the Inkwell Isles, we might actually find some evidence there. You might just want to save this video for later. Because sometime after the war that Elder Kettle fought in, the same war that unalive Cuphead and Mugman's parents left the Inkwell Isle in shambles. The old Scratch saw an opportunity to capitalize on the deprivation of all of the people on Inkwell Isle. If we take a look at the game, everybody actually works for the devil. Literally everyone is a debt collector. From the vegetables that you fight at the beginning to his main man number one, King Dice. Although this is sort of lost in translation when it comes to the TV show, it's the fact that the devil actually took time to build the carnival and the casino. In essence, he created an economy that the island had never seen before. So while he's collecting souls, this is the reason why the devil is actually the one who started the war that is on Inkwell Island. And it wasn't quite on purpose. Within the Cuphead show, the devil is actually a very charismatic character. One who knows how to dance and knows the art of the deal like nobody's business. So even though he's the owner of Carnival and the more famously known casino, we will have to talk about how he's actually not the brightest in the room. You actually see in Cuphead that the devil controls very little within the operations of hell, leaving most of his temptations and accounting tasks to his team. There's a guy to count the souls, a team to create temptations for the world, and a team that literally creates hell on earth by warfare. And we can actually see this within the show itself. In season one, episode eight, the devil's actually taking a tour of his operations. And we see all the different teams that I mentioned before. Most notably, he stops at one station that was tasked with causing a war on three different fronts. And in the three different monitors, you can see exactly what is inside of each one. One with the plane, one with the tank, and one that seems to show London. This bit of information got people theorizing that Inkwell Isle is actually based in real life. So what if I told you Cuphead's Island may actually be located in Italy? And the alleged location may have been revealed to us by the war that took place and the Cuphead theme song. As we went over previously, the devil might have caused the war that has plagued Inkwell Isle. The same war that unalive Cuphead, Mugman, and Chalice's parents. But if you're wondering how we came to the conclusion that Inkwell Isle is in Italy, we have to go over this one thing first. And that is the time period of the war that the devil caused. If you take a look at the devil's minions monitors, you'll see something strange. And that is a battle that's being waged on three different fronts. But a lot of people speculate that this war War is actually World War One. In fact, this is World War Two. First of all, we know that Elder Kettle participated in a war that happened previously, but the Devil's Minions state that there is three new wars being waged right now. And in our timeline, World War One happened during 1914 and 1918. But if you look at a lot of the promotional material that's found within the game and on the posters, a lot of them are timestamped between 1930 and 1938. And again, if you look at our real world timeline, only a year later did World War Two start. So that means that Italy actually hadn't joined the war because that wouldn't have happened 
happened until 1940, which is why the monitors would show as every other place except for Italy. But where exactly would the Inqua Isles actually be? I propose that they are located in the Isola Elba. If we take a look at the island itself, it looks sort of like the Inqua Isles. It has the same shape and the same look. The only problem is if you go to Google Earth and you measure from the coast of the island to the mainland, you can see that it's only eight miles away. But what if I told you the measurement of 29 miles isn't actually coming from the coast, but it's coming from the position of Cuphead's house. But if we measure on the island where Cuphead's house would be, it almost exactly lines up to 29 miles. So that's it. That's the strange lore of the Inkwell Island. In this world, the devil caused World War I, which is the war that Elder Kettle fought in. The same war that ravaged and destroyed Cuphead's parents, as well as all the other Cup people. And that Inkwell Isle has yet to be joining World War II very soon. And if you have any other ideas of what the Cuphead lore might need to include, make sure you leave a comment down below and we might actually tackle it in another video. And if you found this video interesting, make sure you hit that follow button, that like button, and check out the truth to Spongebob's parents. Or maybe see the predictions that we have for the next coming Avatar. And we'll see you in another video. Bye-bye!